from the city, the city is still. I'm from the city, the city is still. Hey guys, welcome to Pittsburgh. My name is Anthony. I appreciate you joining me for another one of these sports card vlogs. Today I'm going to show you how I expect to get way more tens and nine fives when I do my grading submissions. But before we get there, guys, do me a favor. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And when we get there, guys, we're bringing back slabs or cash. That's right. You will get to choose between my graded sports cards or my cold hard cash. But you gotta be a subscriber in order to be eligible for that. So go ahead and hit that button. Analytics show me 70% of you guys still are not subscribed, so what are you waiting for? We're giving away cool stuff, and do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button as well, because that lets YouTube know that I'm putting out great content, and it'll push it out to more people. But without further ado, let me show you how I plan to get even more gem mint. All right, guys, so check this out. It is a portable digital microscope. So this thing is sick. My buddy Nate Every Damn Hustlin' just got one of these and I was like, yeah, that's pretty legit. So let's see this thing. I actually haven't even opened it yet. Oh, check that out, guys. So we got some directions that happen to be in Chinese. We we'll probably won't be able to figure that out. All right, so we got the actual monitor little LCD screen looks like it does have micro um, SD card slot and all that so that's pretty awesome I'm guessing this is to adjust magnification most likely ah broken disc wonderful <laughs> that's gonna really come in handy So let's see if we uh, can't put this sucker together. Right, huh? Good news, guys. You get to watch me struggle to try to put this thing together. Now. Luckily for you guys, your boy knows how to edit. So this three hour process of me trying to figure it out actually is only going to take you a few seconds before this bad boy powers up and it's ready to go. Boom. Shaka laka. light showing. Turn that off to eliminate some glare once we turn that on. Oh god, okay, look at that. It's like high powered light and everything. Test this out. I'm getting ready to send this into Pure Graded X. This is a base set Charizard Hollow. Send it in to get graded. Sure. Look at that surface. That's crazy. All right, guys. So this is really the beauty of it. Look at that edge. That's not necessarily something you can see very great with your naked eye, but now that we have this, this is gonna be a game changer because you're gonna be able to see things in such detail. This is what grading companies are looking for, guys. Look at that right there. See, these are the type of things companies are looking for. I'm going to send this to get graded either way just because this is a really big card and it definitely deserves a slab but you know you can see a lot of stuff like look, look at this surface stuff that you would never see with the naked eye. Look at these scratches. Look at that. 
that's what's so awesome about this machine, guys. This is going to be such a game changer when it comes to grading. I'll show you guys a sports card too once we're done checking out this Charizard. But yeah, as you can tell, the edges are rough. The surface is rough on this. And it's literally like almost the entire way around too, guys. So this is the type of stuff that leads to cards coming back with subpar grading. And look, you can even see a little bit of a fringiness on there as well. You see right there, it looks like it's bent up a little bit, starting to bow. Let's check the other side now. We got whitening on the uh, yellow. Let's see how it looks on the blue. It doesn't look as bad on the back. I thought the back would have looked worse, but the back actually looks pretty decent. Yeah, back looks decent. Let's take a look at the actual hollow now. So you see those little craters there? I'm wondering if that's something that they would knock you down for. It's barely noticeable on the card, but that's a surface imperfection. So that theoretically could be something they would knock that down to like a 9.5 or a 9.4. This one I'm really looking forward to looking into because this is an older card from 96. It's a rookie card of Kobe Bryant, Jermaine O'Neal, in the second year of Kevin Garnett. Edges on this look better than I thought it would. there on this corner this is a card that like if it eights you're happy because it's a kobe so let's take a look at surface it's looking pretty good on this i mean considering the age of the card and everything it's looking really good That was mainly the thing that I saw was an issue with these corners. Yeah, yep, the corners can be an issue on this. So this is a cool card here. This is numbered out of 25. It's a Shea Gillius Alexander rookie card. It's autographed. 
issues with this card, I believe, would be like corners. Naked eye test, corners look white on all four corners on the back. And this, I really don't want to be dragging the auto. Let's take a look at that auto. That's a nice auto. I would probably say that's a 10 auto if that were to get graded. I'm gonna check the back, but I do not want to scuff the front or smear the auto I'm gonna try to just lay it on this so essentially all I want to see on the back here just these four corners so, top corner is not looking too terrible so that one definitely is better days it's a little smushed in this one I'm assuming is gonna be an issue too well, it actually doesn't look as bad but it looks like there might be a little divot there check this one here yeah that one's a little bit distorted too all right, guys, let me know down in the comment section what you thought about this microscope and if you think it's going to be a real game changer when it comes to group submissions and getting good grades on cards. I think it will be, guys. You know, with my natural eye, I can see a lot, but this is definitely going to show me the differences between 9s and 10s and 8s and 9s for sure. So I'm really looking forward to being able to utilize this. We'll probably be doing some live streams and whenever I do pre-grading, I will have this set up as well. So that way you guys can see in extreme detail what's going on with your cards that you would send in. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I genuinely appreciate it. Again, uh, leave me some feedback down below. I would appreciate that as well. But until the next video, may God bless you. Hope you take it easy.